Okay, guys. So now I've started making the um, the pot pie. So um, I've got in this saucepan here. I've got uh, a quarter stick of butter, which is like a quarter pound, rather not a quarter stick. I'm sorry, a quarter pound of butter, which is uh, one stick, and um, a cup and a half of um, diced onions, a, a cup and a half, which is about um, a, one large onion. Um, and um, the recipe calls for fennel. Um, I didn't have fennel, so I went. I used. Uh, I just chopped up some um, some celery. Okay, in this, and I'm just sauteing it for about two minutes or so. In this, I'm going to just put in here um, a half a cup of uh, of flour. Okay, that's kind of to make a roux. Uh, to get the thickening going here, all right. So, because the onion and the fennel, that sort, those are already cooked. They've already gotten soft. And everything, all right. So now I'm going to add. Remember our um, broth. Normally you would put the clam juice here, but I've already I have my seafood broth, and this is three cups. Okay, so I pour my three cups in here. And let me put this back up to medium so it comes to a boil. Okay. Okay, and this is going to thicken. And I need to change out my spoon. This is going to thicken. And to this, I'm also going to add. Oops. Get this little piece over here. Okay. Uh, it stirs. Just keep stirring it till it comes to a little bit of oil. Okay. All right. So in here now, the next thing I'm going to put in is our um, our our. Uh, seafood my shrimp and I also had a little piece of fish that I had in the freezer I cut that up in there too what any kind of seafood you have just throw it in any kind of seafood you have just throw it in here all right so this is getting there see it's thickening up perfect 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 all right, so what I'm gonna get now is our um, my shrimp. Just give me one minute. All right, hold on. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put all the shrimp and everything in here. See, I have some pieces of fish in here too, and then I have my shrimp, and I cut each shrimp in, in half. Okay, all right, there we go. All right, so you know, once the shrimp, once they get to that that um, nice pink color, you know that they're cooked. So it doesn't take much, doesn't take much for them to cook. So they're gonna get all nice and pink in a second. And then I'm gonna, the recipe also calls for a tablespoon of um, pernod, I'm just putting a tablespoon of, um, uh, this is a Chardonnay of um, wine. Okay, that's just about a tablespoon. And just stir that in. See our shrimp is getting, it's actually it's just starting to get that nice pink color. All right. So, just get all that to come together. It's got that, um, that pot pie uh, consistency now, right? It smells good. Okay, they're all, they're all getting nice and pink. Okay, I'm gonna put in a little salt and some fresh ground pepper. Oh, 
Okay. So in here, and it comes with sea salt, but I have um, pink salt here. And I do have sea salt, but I just didn't want to have to go get that. And then I have my fresh ground pepper. Okay. And just continue to stir. Okay. Okay, I need I'm putting in here next is about three tablespoons of um about three tablespoons of heavy cream. No, that, so I'm gonna say one, two, three. Okay. I'm just eyeballing here. Stir that up. And I'm gonna also throw in my my peas and my green onions. Now this calls for little baby onions. I don't have any of those, so I just went with green onions. So you can kind of just make it your own. Okay? So let me get that. This was a cup and a half of frozen um, peas. Oops, and an extra piece of shrimp hiding over there. Okay, and my green onions. Throw that in there. And. Okay. And then the next thing added to this is the flat leaf parsley, which I do have outside. I didn't pick it. I didn't get to, I forgot to run outside and get that. But I'm just going to add some dry parsley. Um, oops. Uh, dry parsley here. Okay, here we go. Here's some dried parsley flakes. I hate using dry when I have the fresh um, parsley outside. Okay, there we go. And that's everything. Okay, so we just need, and let me just give you a nice shot here. I hope you can see that everything has come together nicely. And I did um, also make the um, the crust for the top and you can make the whole one one whole pie or you know one whole pot pie or you can just do individual I'm actually going to do four individual ones um, and um, but I and I did go ahead and make the crust from scratch um, and I'm going to take that out of the fridge and uh, put it all together okay all right so just give me one minute